In this video, I'll be showing you how to add animated prototypes to your case studies so that when you show them to recruiters and you're doing your interviews, your prototype, your case study, your portfolio in general will stand out from the rest of the thousands of portfolio out there. This video is going to be quick, straight to the point. So enough of the talking. Let me show you how you can add animated prototypes like this in your case study. Let's fire up Figma. Sorry, we're not using Figma. Let's open the App Store. <laughs> what you want to do is go to the App Store. When you open up the app store, you want to look for an app called Glyphy Capture. That is G-I-P-H-Y Capture. So, open up your app store and type Glyphy Capture. And let's search for that. Oops, no result. Giphy, sorry, not Glyphy. That's Giphy, Giphy Capture. And this is exactly what you're looking for. Now, this software, this app easily helps you capture GIFs that you can now embed into your case studies, your prototypes to give you that stunning effect that you are looking for. You want to open it, download it, open it, install it. When you install it, you'd want to go into your permissions and grant it permissions like screen recording, and whatever permission it prompts you the reason you want to grant it permission is because if you don't grant it permission it can't screen record your screen it should be under allow applications record your screen i've already done mine that's why i'm just kind of looking for it but when you fire up the application you see it so you're going to allow it to record your screen and you're also going to possibly allow it to record your audio most of the permission is to ask you when you fire it up and when you fire it up you can just allow this accessibilities and then you can load up the app again so let's get into how you can actually make some of this prototype so i'm going to be using this website that we've been working on and i'll show you how you capture some of these gifs and you can put it into your case study so when you load up the app the app comes in this format if what you're trying to record is a mobile app you can resize you can resize it to fit into that shape but if it's a website you can also kind of expand it to meet the shape you would like it to record so i think right about here should be good enough and you can expand it and vertically or horizontally based on what you need but this is what it's capturing and then you click on the record button and you can start your entire the prototype that you want to show so you can click the joint for free you can select and once you're just clicking all these prototypes it is recording it down here as you can see you can continue proceed continue and then you can go to your dashboard let's say this is what you want to show fine when you're done you can stop the recording and you see it recorded over here these are some other um, prototype i've used in case studies that i have recorded and also like for you see some video I put on LinkedIn. This is how I get some of those moving posts on LinkedIn. So you click on the post you have just made and the window pops up. Let's get, let's take this out. So it pops up and you can see the preview of what you have already captured. Now here comes the interesting part. What you want to do is, I like to leave these settings the way they are. I just put the loop normal. If you want to reverse, what it means is when it stops, when it gets to the end, it then plays back all over again. You can use the normal or ping pong. It's just going to be bouncing back and forth. So I like to leave it normal. The pixel size, I leave it original, which means it will just the exact frame that you measured for it is going to be what will be recorded. Or you can select some additional pixels. What I've noticed is that selecting like custom pixels, at times it kind of reduces the quality of the GIF. So I just like to leave it original and I can always scale it in the case study that I want to use it in. For my frame rate, I like to leave it standard because you don't want this file to be overly heavy and you don't want it to be really wonky. So I just leave it standard. And then you have two options. You have to save us and you also have to upload to Giphy. So I guess this takes you to their side, but that's not what we are bothered about in this particular video. I click on save us and when you click on save us, you have the option of selecting like a GIF or a video format or a batch. We'll take that again. If you click on save as, then you can select a GIF. You can select the video. In this case, we are selecting the GIF. Once you select your GIF, you can name it. Let's just call it GIF test. You can name it that. And then when you download this, 
it also tells you save as gift or mp4 we already put as gift save it as a gift and you can see it's saving and it has now converted that into a gift for you to use now how do you bring this into your case studies it works in two ways if your case study is being done on figma you can just import it the way you would import a normal picture and i'll just get rid of this for context let me take out this prototype over here to give us a little bit more context on what i'm saying let's delete that so you can just replace the image the way it's what the gifs are also recognized as images and you can choose your image this is the gif we worked on replace it now that gif is there and you can also see like if you play the slider here you can see the gif is moving so you can decide the frame you want it to start from and it also reflects there in your case study so once that is done you can you're just going to make this really fast you can then you know move it into your case study play your case study the way it normally is in your presentation and then you have that gif in your case study for users and interviewers or whoever you're showing your case study to to understand exactly what you want to do so this is a very easy way i used to add gifts into my case study if this brought you any help or help you design your case study please let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so with this app you can now capture custom animations turn them into gifts and add them onto your case studies to give your case study that life and you know that attitude that swagger that it needs if you found this video helpful and you want to support the channel don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel hey and leave a nice comment in the comment section below if you like to see any more video and hopefully i'll have time to go around with it and make those videos for you but in the meantime you can watch any of our previous videos as they will teach you more about ux and generally how to love enjoying what you do the most my name is destiny and i'll see you in the next one